What's up guys, Austin Newman here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today, we're talking about the strobe effect. Now this is actually a really easy effect to achieve and I'm most positive that you've seen this in some of your favorite music videos or even travel videos here on YouTube. It's a really easy effect to achieve. There's a couple different ways we're gonna do it. One that you just saw was with the footage and one is with just black over top. Just more of a strobe. So I'm gonna show you both ways on how to do this. They're both very simple. We're gonna go ahead and dive in. So this footage here is from a short little film that I'm working on about a minute in length. I'll be done editing it soon and I'll be posting it here on this channel. And this is my friend Stephanie and she's going to be helping demonstrate how we achieve this effect. Also, I'd like to mention that this track here is available for download. It is a no copyright track that I found. You can uh, find it in my description. I've linked it below so you can also check it out and use it in some of your future films. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and clear my timeline here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to find that hi-hat sound. So I want to find that point that we're going to start at. So it sounds like it starts right here. Right there. So let's go ahead and first I'm going to show you how to do it with the footage. Let me go ahead and grab the footage and drag it on here. So this is my footage. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to size and we'll cut it to where the strobe sound ends. So it ends right about there. So let's go ahead and cut this up right there. Yep, that's about perfect. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to zoom in with plus on the keyboard. I'm going to use the right and left arrow keys to go to the sides. I'm going to pull C to pull out my cutting tool. Go to the right one frame, cut. 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 Cut, 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 and cut. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go in between to each of these and we're going to delete these. So I'm going to select each of them and click shift and hold down to select or highlight each one of them individually. Okay, so now that we have all those, we're going to go ahead and delete those clips. Now, that's what we've got. So now what we want to do is let's show you the strobe effect with just a black over it. So we're going to go up here, right click in our project panel here, new item, color mat, and these are my settings, so this looks good and we are going to do black. So let's go ahead and name this strobe two since I already have one up there. Okay, now we're going to bring this over our clip and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to measure these to size here, right about there. And we're going to go one over, pull out our cutting tool with C, cut, one over, cut, 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 and cut. Now, once again, V is a selection tool on the keyboard, and then we're going to click each one while holding down shift, and this will allow you to highlight multiple clips and then delete those. And now we have a strobe effect. So if you learned something, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials like this. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.